Welcome to Flat Teacher. We already seen grid view and grid dot count in previous sessions. In this session, I'm going to explain grid view dot extend with its properties and exact use in Flatter applications. So without wasting time, let's get started. While dealing with grid layouts, sometimes in application, instead of fixed number of grids in a cross axis, we need a grid of certain maximum size. Flutter has given gridview.extend to achieve this in your application. Basically, gridview.count is the name constructor of gridview class that allows us to create two-dimensional scrollable array of widgets in the form of grid where each grid can have maximum extend in cross axis. And based on this extend, Flutter will decide the number of grids in cross axis. Let's understand this practically. Let me define a function called myBox, which I will use as a tile in a grid. From here, return a container with some color and margin. I'm going to use grid.extend as a body of scaffold. There's a property called children that takes the list of widgets which are intended to show as a tile in the grid. Here, let me place some containers through the function myBox. Max cross axis extend is a required property that decides the size of each tile in a cross axis. In this example, it's the width of grid. Let me get clear about the different axes, width and height of the tile here. When your grid view has a scroll direction of vertical, then that vertical direction represents the main axis and the horizontal axis is the cross axis. On the other hand, when your grid view has a scroll direction of horizontal, then that direction represents the main axis, whereas the another direction that is the vertical direction here represents the cross axis of your grid. Let's use a value say 150 here. Let me save here and you can see here I have got nice grid where each row has got three tiles. Guys here, the value 150 doesn't mean exact 150 pixels. Here, it is the maximum extent that is it's the maximum size that Flutter can provide to your tile. Based on the available space in the cross axis, Flutter will decide the extent that is size and it tries to provide equal extent for each tile so that we should have nice symmetric UI on your screen. Now for better understanding, let me open the command palette and here we have to type the dart dev tool and let's open this dart dev tool in the Chrome. Let's click on this grid view and you can observe here, my grid view has got width of 423 pixels here. And when I click on a container that is the tile inside my grid, it has got the width of 141 pixels here. So if you observe carefully, I have given max extent of 150 pixels. So even though Flutter has not given that exact 150 pixels to tile, instead it has given 141 pixels. So if you try to multiply by three, you will find that you will get this specific width of the grid that is the uh, 423. So the reason behind this is Flutter tries to have uh, equal size for each grid so that uh, it should have a nice UI representation of grid in your screen. So this is what when we have value 150, so instead of 150, let me change the value to say 300. Let's change this value to say 300 and let's save the code. I can see we have got only two grids in each row. So let's understand this inside the Dart Dev tool. We again need to click on the grid view. So once I click here, you can see we still have the same width here that is 423 for uh, the entire grid view. When I click on a container, so you can observe here, it has got the width of 211. So uh, it's again uh, important to note that it has not given exact 300 pixel. Instead, it has adjusted your tile so that uh, that should be a proper or uniform representation of tiles on your UI. Let me rotate my phone and let's see what happens uh, inside the Dart Dev tool. So let me arrange my phone properly here. Nice. And let's click on the grid view. Now, definitely you can see here my grid view has got uh, the width of uh, 803 pixels here. And let's click on a container. You can see now Flutter has given the width of 267 pixels. Let's go back to value 150 and for understanding further properties, I want to comment this margin. And let's save the code. You can see here there is no margin of spacing among the tiles. We can apply uh, spacing among the tiles. We can use main axis spacing. That is going to apply spacing among the main axis. So let's set it value to 16. Now I hope you understood. Then we can also apply spacing uh, for the cross axis also. Let's use value 8 so that uh, you can have some understanding that there is a difference between main axis spacing and cross axis spacing here. We can also apply padding for your entire grid view. For this, we have option called padding. Let's set its value to say agencies.all and let me place the value of the padding 24 pixel across entire grid. 
you can also you know, by default your grid view scrolls only in a vertical direction so if you want to change that direction then there is an option called scroll direction for this we have to pass the value say axis dot horizontal so it will change uh, vertical to horizontal now i need to rotate this one in the horizontal direction we can also change the sequence of tiles that are shown on the ui for this we have option called say reverse so we have to simply write here say reverse true and uh, you will observe here that the sequence of tile will get changed so basically you are not getting any changes here because all my tiles have same ui but when we have a specific ui for each and every tile then definitely you will realize the change uh, for reverse with true and without true if you observe carefully you can find each tile has got exactly same width and same height now uh, there is a property called child aspect ratio uh, it is basically used to control the size of tile in main axis so as my list view has not given any scroll direction because i have simply commented this one so by default it has scroll direction of vertical so that's why if i want to control the size of tile in main axis that is i want to control the height of tile we can make the use of this child aspect ratio it is a ratio of cross axis to main axis extent for each tile Okay, its value must be between 0.0 to 1.0. So if I pass a value 1 here, it means each tile will have exactly same width and same height. But if I change value to say 0.5, it means the height of tile is double than its available width. And when I change to say it's a 2. Point, means 0.25, so definitely it will provide the height of tile uh, four times compared to its width. We have got a controller using which we can control the grid view programmatically and responds to various user scroll operations performed by the user. There is again a nice property called cap extend that has the impact on the performance of grid view. Viewport has got the area before and after this visible area in order to catch the items that is the tiles that are about to get visible when user scrolls the list upwards or downwards. For example, when you set the value of this cat extend to 500, it means Flutter can catch those many tiles in memory that can be presented or that can be shown inside these 500 pixels at the top side and bottom side of your visible area. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.